I'm not afraid. These are heavier than you might think. We have 10 boxes of Lego here filled to the brim with raw Lego. I ordered just over 57,000 pieces and I'm gonna walk you through what I bought. The reason I bought these Legos was to actually start building bigger stuff. And over here to the side of my set in these bins is where I'm gonna put hopefully all the Lego. We have a ton of empty bins here. Some of them are sort of filled. But first we gotta see what's in them so we can actually know what to put where. Let's start with the first box and see what's inside there. Okay, box number one. So first up we have Two by fours in blue. That's cool, because they actually put it in like an official Lego bag. The way I ordered these was from Denmark, so I went on the Lego website, and I went to like the pick a brick thing, where, where you buy bricks on the Lego website. <laughs> and I put in the quantities, and the max quantity was 999 for each. We have 999, let's just say 1,000 two by fours in green. Some one by fours in red, which is cool. One by fours are nice for like building walls because you can get the same amount of width and height of your wall, but it can be thinner so you can save a lot on parts usage. So I got a bunch of one by fours in various colors. Here we have black one by fours. We're not gonna be boring about this. We're gonna actually pour these out into their bins and put them where they go. So by the end of this video, you should have a pretty good idea of how I'm gonna sort these. Two by twos in dark bluish gray. Another good base color. And it looks like that finishes up our first box. Let's grab the next one. Time for box number two. To start off, we have some gray window frames. Now, you're gonna see a lot of like window and like building related stuff. And I'll explain why. One of the big reasons I bought these was because I have a huge project coming up this summer. And so these are just like one wide. These are pretty cool. And here we have some one by twos in gray. These are actually really nice. With each of these colors, I kind of went with two by fours, two by twos, one by ones, one by fours and one by twos. And I didn't get any two by threes or one by threes because you can actually just take like one of these one by twos and one by one and make the same thing happen. So I got some of these. Looks like we got a thousand one by fours in light bluish gray. That's nice. There's some more one by twos in white. And then we got one by twos in tan. Here we have a huge thing of tan two by fours. This is actually really great. And then we have black one by twos. About a thousand of those probably. So a lot of pieces so far. What are we at? Like a couple thousand? We still have eight more boxes. Ooh, this one's really colorful. Okay, you guys are gonna like this one. Starting off this box, we have one by ones in red. Just the fact that there's so many of them. I think there's probably a thousand in here. This is a thousand one by ones versus a thousand two by fours. You can definitely see the difference, but the quantity is still the same. One by twos in orange. Also, I like how they pack it upside down so you can actually see what it is. Just so you guys know what I'm looking at. It's packed like this, and so you just, you can see what's in it right away, which is really nice. I think for some of the rare colors, I got like 300 of each. So this should be like 300 two by fours. I got some white one by one bricks. Two by fours in bulk of dark bluish gray. I'm super excited to build some of these, like I'm, I'm psyched. Here we have a thousand orange two by fours. Orange is a really nice color. I don't know what I'm gonna make with this, but bright colors are definitely good for like larger things. Next box. Starting off, we have one by fours in blue. That's cool. Here we have some one by one in lime. We have dark blue one by ones, those are cool. Some clear pink one by ones. This is interesting. I believe these are like a pearl white one by ones. Here we got some yellow one by one bricks. These are really nice for like headlights or details or whatever, they're yellow so they can like imitate light. The reason I got a majority of this stuff is because I'm actually going to be building a Lego city this year. And I'm building it for a specific reason that I'm not gonna tell you guys about until it comes around. But I needed all these pieces to actually build it because it's gonna be huge. Ooh, clear orange one by ones. Those are really nice. And here we have some chairs. You never know when you're gonna need to build something minifigure scale. We got more windows. These ones are in tan because I didn't want to get all of them in like light bluish gray. And then here we have some profile bricks. These are really cool. So these profile bricks have two sides and one of them looks like bricks and the other one is like bricks but stacked. So these are great for like building details into walls and stuff because you can put them together. Here we have some lime green two by fours. These are nice for detailing. I got some trees and I, did I really? I didn't think I did. I got some trees for the city because trees are nice and especially in your Lego city, you want to have some greenery. Also, they really remind me of like that one toy with like, that's always at like doctor's office waiting rooms. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? <laughs> we got some, I think this is medium azure, two by four bricks. These are really nice. This is a really, really pretty color. And then here we have some one by ones in dark bluish gray. And here we have some green one by twos. And then we have one by fours in regular green. So I think this is like light, bright green. We got a good selection of each basic color, like red, blue, green, yellow. And that finishes up box number four. That's crazy. Bag number five. To start off, we have some one by ones. These are like clear blue. These are really nice. Here we got some two by four, dark red. Those are pretty cool. Here we have a thousand two by twos in green. That's pretty sick. A lot of big bricks and that's perfect because for the big stuff, you need big bricks. And that's a Riley fact. We got a lot more one by one. We have black, we have blue, 
tan, like an orange medium yellow or something. And then we have purple in one by one. Here we have some one by fours in dark tan. That's actually super nice for like buildings and stuff. Here we got some black two by twos. These are nice. So this will go with the two by fours and the one by fours we already have. Last up in this box, we have two by twos in orange and two by twos in tan. So there's a lot of tan pieces, but you know, I made my head and I put that here and then the cat destroyed it. But that was made out of tan. So that's box number five. We have some really beautiful sand green two by fours. This is like a really nice color for building stuff and it's kind of like rare. Apparently that one wasn't tied. Uh, we got some white window panes. Now you can see what these look like. There's actually windows that go in these. So we got those in white and then we have those in reddish brown, I believe. And last up in this small box, we have a huge bag of dark tan two by fours. I love the two by fours. They're just like so, ah, it just gets me so excited. Like, look at that. Up next, box number seven. Real quick though, guys, before I do that, I just want to tell you about this video sponsor, Crazy Kai's Bricklink Store. They actually sell new and used Lego on Bricklink and they've sponsored this video. I really like them, you know, from a lot of my other videos. They are super awesome. So if you want to check them out and get some more Legos for yourself, click the first link down in the description and you can see what they have in stock. Now let's do the next box. Starting off with some one by fours in orange. We got about a thousand orange one by ones. I don't know, what if I want to build a giant carrot, you know, or a pickle? That's green. These are cool, okay. These are more profile bricks, but they're in these really cool, almost rare even colors. So here we have some nice dark orange nougat. And then here we have some dark red. Here we got some one by twos in blue, that's nice. We got some one by ones in light bluish gray, one by ones in very dark brown. I believe this is just called dark brown. There's reddish brown, there's brown, and then there's dark brown. We got some brown one by fours. Here's this. We got white one by fours, probably about a thousand of those. Last up in this box, we have one by ones in green. Wow, these are so pretty. Dude. Box number seven is done. Now on to box number eight. I'm trying to talk through all these, but I'm kind of losing my voice. I was sick like the week before last, since. <coughs> So I'm trying to get it back. <clears throat> we have a bag of bags. If you look inside this bag and you look inside this bag, you will find a Lego window. And this is just a little plastic piece, but I got a thousand of them and they're all individually packed. So there's a thousand windows. Tan one by four bricks, bunch of two by two white bricks, one by two yellow bricks. I'm just making a pile in the corner because I know it needs to go in drawers and stuff. And last up in this box, we have yellow two by fours. That's a lot of two by fours, wow. If I combine these with red, I can make you think about a hot dog. True story, you just thought about ketchup and mustard. I know you did. That's box number eight, there's two more boxes. Up next we have two by two bricks in yellow. Ooh, and this is an interesting bag. We have here some windows and instead of putting in bags, they just decided to throw in with the doors. So <laughs> why did they package the windows that way? Fun bag, we'll go through this here. We have a bunch of different doors. Looks like we have white, reddish brown, and dark tan. We have some street lamp holders, and then we have some signs. And so we can put these on these, put a light on top. We have some green dumpsters, that's cool. And then we have some chairs in different colors. Ooh, okay, more profile bricks. Light bluish gray and dark bluish gray. I'm telling you, this is gonna be great for building. Next up we have one by fours in yellow. We got some, ooh, ooh, I love this, okay. Dark blue two by fours. We got more yellow, so we got yellow one by ones here. And last in this box number nine, we have 1,000 brown two by fours. That's actually sick. I keep saying that that's actually sick, but that's actually sick, am I right? All right, so that finishes off box number nine. For the final box, starting off with two bags of this beautiful orange yellow color. Next up, we have one by twos in dark bluish gray. Another really nice color is dark red, and we have a bunch of two by fours in dark red. We have some reddish brown one by ones. One by twos in red. One by ones in pink. Is that a voice crack? I don't even know. This is like a salmon white. But we got some one by ones in the unknown color. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Here we have black two by fours. Here we have some two by twos in blue. That's pretty nice, a thousand of those. We got some one by fours in dark bluish gray, a thousand of those. And the last bag is two by two bricks in red. That's not even it actually. When you order from Lego, occasionally you get two different shipments because of most popular pieces or whatever. So here we have a bunch of bars, a couple one by ones in this dark green. So that is 57,000, just over 57,000 Lego bricks, which is absolutely insane. Now we get to sort it out and put it away in our bins. I'm gonna sort this out by color and just see what I have in every single color. And then I can start putting it away and like opening it up and seeing what's in it. Before I do that though, real quick, I just wanna ask if you'd consider subscribing. We're trying to get to a million on this channel and the main channel by the end of this year. And I think we can do it. But only if you guys decide to subscribe. Did I say that, I said that wrong? Maybe just consider it. Okay, so I've laid them out in their bags on the floor. My plan now is to grab the two by fours of each color. Like here we have orange, yellow, 
and then I'm gonna start filling them into these drawers. And that'll kind of give me a better idea. I know two by fours are like the biggest parts, so I have the most of those. That's my plan. So let's do that. And as you can see, if we put that here, that essentially takes up one drawer of space. Wow, <laughs> okay, let's do the rest. That's so perfect. That's like a dream to be able to fill up a drawer with two by fours. I've never had this many before. That's dream come true. But now we have the two by fours in. We still have some stuff to put away here. So for the second one, since we know I got them in like every color, I'm gonna do two by twos and probably add like a divider. If I do a divider in my drawers, I can do two by twos on one side and one by twos on the other. But I need to make a divider. Now how do I do that, you're asking? Maybe like a piece of cardboard or something? I don't know, but that's the next step, so I gotta figure that out. So I glued in these cardboard dividers with hot glue. They're pretty sturdy, actually. And now, as you can see, we can put two by twos. And then I was thinking one by ones back here. Now this is all sorted and I can just grab this and put it right above the orange drawer right there. And then we'll just need to do that with all the other colors. And we can kind of customize the dividers. I'm just reusing the cardboard from the boxes they came in. So now we need to make 12 more dividers for these drawers. And to do that, you're simply gonna need scissors and some cardboard from the boxes that you got from like, oh. So I'm just gonna measure one of these and then we can use it as a template to make the rest of them. But we need to build like 12, which have three sections in them for all the colors we haven't done yet. Nice. I'm just going with the height of this. There's better ways to do this. This is just the cheap, inexpensive, easy way. And there we go. White pieces are done and can go in the shelf. So now we gotta do that with all the other drawers. All right, so I just finished building all the drawers and putting them in, and now I can give you a tour. All right, guys, here it is, and it is finally done. We have all 57,000 pieces in here. I'm just gonna do a quick run through to basically show you what's in it. So here on this corner, we have all the one by four. So that goes all the way down. We got green, blue, orange, yellow. Those are really nice. We got black and dark gray. I kind of have the darker colors near the bottom. On the next pillar over, we have all the two by fours. We got two by four bricks thousand of those in each drawer, I believe, all the way up. And then on this next one, these are all the ones that are kind of like separated. So here we have some one by fours in a tan and brown. And that kind of continues down here with all these dividers we just built. So we have one by ones in the back here, and then two by twos, one by twos. So it's just like a nicer way to sort. I tried putting tape on some of these, that didn't work so I'll have to take those off. But as you can see, it just looks nice, you know, it's clean. Even though it's cardboard, it's still clean. So that goes all the way down. We have that in all the different colors basically. and black at the bottom like that. And then we have gray, a couple more of those. This is kind of more of the rare stuff on this section, like here. Like we have some greens, we have blue and purple of the random colors compared to like the regular blue. We got dark yellow, dark red, stuff like that. And then moving over to this final pillar here, we have clear pieces in our windows. So the rest of the clear pieces are underneath there. Here we got some gates and fences and stuff. Stuff we'll need for the city. And then here we have bricks. And as you can see, we have these in different colors. Light bluish gray, dark bluish gray, dark red. We got medium nougat and dark orange. So that's cool. And then here we have windows, window frames. And then on the very bottom, we have trees, more windows, and then door frames and stuff. So just a lot of random stuff on this section. But yeah. That is it. That is our huge stack of 57,000 Legos. If you guys wanna see a video where I sorted 100,000 Legos, click this video right here on this side, because if that video gets 80,000 likes, I will do a full room tour. Huge thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.